Hey Aries, I hope you're all doing awesome. This is your February 2019 life and love reading. If you want a private reading, that information is on the description box along with the link to my Instagram and my Facebook page. All right, Aries, let's see what's going on with you guys. February 2019, what does Aries need to hear, please? else does Aries need to hear? All right, Aries. So for this group of Aries or someone that is cross-watching for an Aries, so far it seems to be that someone here needs to make a decision that'll serve them better. A lot of enlightenment, um, finding out an issue that you're going through doing some spiritual searching, soul searching, figuring out what you want. Could be two people here. What is the most important message for Aries, please? All right, we have the Queen of Cups, kind understanding and giving. This is saying to follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information. So with the Hermit here, which is also the sign of Virgo, there could be a lot of soul searching going on. Follow your intuition and follow your heart. Make choices from the heart. You cannot go wrong there. Um, Two of Swords is saying it's better to see things for what they are in the truth of the matter and make a choice. You could be at a crossroads at some point in your life, somewhere in your life, whether it's love, um, a family situation, work, we'll do some clarifying after. But uh, with the hermit, also the sign of Virgo, this is about mastering some kind of spiritual lesson. The five of swords here to me is saying that there could be either somebody around you um, or if you're cross watching or you feeling like maybe you want to kind of be in control of the situation um so maybe you're not as being being as compassionate um you know as you could be here maybe there's a control factor involved from somebody around you we have the knight of cups cancer scorpio pisces but that five of swords is a win at all cost attitude or it could just be that feeling like you feel like you're going to hurt somebody if you make this decision if this is some kind of third party thing um knight of wands aries leo sagittarius this could be you really stressing out with the nine of swords but there is a need for a decision judgment is about making a decision making things right in your life um a healing energy and then the eight of cups if you've been putting in a lot of emotion into a situation and you have this person around you who has more of an egotistical behavior, not being compassionate or loving, um, the Eight of Cups is saying to walk away from that. Walk away from putting all your energy and attention into a situation that isn't serving you. Knight of Cups can be news and you know the energy of the Knight of Wands is saying to go for it. So especially with the Knight of Wands underneath the Two of Swords, there definitely is a need for a choice here. Okay, let's take a look at this Two of Swords energy. Let's clarify this Two of Swords. What is this choice? Okay, we have the Page of Cups, the King of Cups. So this is something that can be very, very emotional. Um, there could be a situation here involving children. There is a younger energy or Cancer Scorpio Pisces is really coming up in this reading. But this seems to be a very emotional decision. So big changes in your life and a tough decision to make. Let's take a look at the Hermit. Okay, so we have the Four of Wands. Definitely could be something going on in the home situation or a workplace or establishment. 
I want to take a look at this Five of Swords energy. You may need to give somebody news or a message with the Knight of Cups, but let's take a look at that Five of Swords. What is this Five of Swords energy? Five of Swords, please. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So it definitely could be a workplace or something involving the home. The Ten of Pentacles is about, okay, yeah, now we have the Ten of Wands and we have the world. The Ten of Pentacles being a 10 is about completing a cycle and then with the Four of Wands reaching some kind of a goal or milestone. So, you know, this goal or milestone could be you finally speaking your truths, um, speaking from the heart compassionately, but also with conviction. Definitely a lot of stress. Up all night thinking about this. Could be disruptive sleep. All right, let's take a look at this judgment card for you, Aries. What's going on with judgment? Judgment is a major arcana, so this is a pretty difficult but a situation that needs to happen. Yeah, five of wands, so healing quarrels, fighting, disagreements. The five of wands can be people around you, external things, um, like people disagreeing with you or kind of like a backstabbing energy with this five of swords or five of wands. And then the judgment card really is talking about healing this. So if this is a situation where you feel like you want to win here or somebody wants to win, it's better to just walk away. Walking away doesn't mean you're just giving up. It just means, you know, self-love. You're doing this because this needs to happen. Um, there needs to be a huge change here. So whether it's the end of a relationship that's unhealthy or toxic, and now we have justice as I'm shuffling. So yeah, um, with the justice card, fair and impartial, also talks about lawsuits, legal battles. It is the sign of Libra. Um, you know, with the justice card, maybe the need to balance things out by literally just walking away from a situation that isn't serving you. So if you're putting a lot of effort into something, you're not getting the same back, whether this is in the workplace or a love relationship or something like that, there is a need to, you know, walk away. Maybe some of you are healing fighting that has been going on and, you know, these burdens right here, it's about ending that. And then moving forward in a relationship. So it's not like everyone is leaving a relationship. But this can be a lot of healing energy. Um, and if somebody here has been holding back in the love department with emotions. There could be a lot of healing going on involving that. So yeah, Aries, for many of you, this is a very emotional situation with the King of Cups. This could definitely be the marriage thing. Um, you know, we have the King and Queen of Cups showing up. The king and queen are both very deep and emotional. The king just hides it under the surface more. So for some of you, that could be an issue in this situation. All right, my Aries, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and take care.